all right guys so straight away i have to address something so i said a few episodes ago in the last episode if you get over 3,000 likes on this episode i will bring back face cam and and that is coming back that is definitely coming back i just have a really 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 sore throat it might not sound like it i'm trucking on for you i think i have tonsillitis but it's cool and once that is all better you can see my beautiful face but i don't want you to see my face today because i look like poo anyway guys welcome to today's episode of factions last episode was an absolute amazing raid and then a disaster at the end by um obviously gambling a lot of items to raven and and losing but we came out with a really good deal in the end because i managed to buy a sharpness six axe and a divine chest plate off raven for only four million dollars but we are currently right now in debt for two million but that might be about to change we're looking at a raid right here okay they are worth around about 15 million dollars the 16 richest faction on the server and look at this. If I go slash back, I'm going to be up in the walls. I don't have an invisibility pot. There are a few of them online, so I need to be careful here. But most of these walls are dry. It's dry. Dry, 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 dry. And we got two bits of water walls over there. So we don't even have to stack sand. Like, this raid is going to be an absolute steal. We're going to be able to get the $2 million 100% and plus more, which is obviously amazing. So welcome back to this episode. If I do sound a bit weird um, today, just so you know, yeah, my throat is absolutely dying. But I, I'm in the mood to record. I found a good raid. I'm not going to let this pass up. So with one shot, oh my god, we're actually going through like three walls with one shot. So we're waiting until we see water and then we're in. I just hope that the faction like inside the base don't hear it and they don't come out and blow up the raid. Because like that's a possibility. Look how many walls we went through. <laughs> All right. So there we go. We've reached the water. Now, this is it. So we've got two walls, I believe, to go. Maybe three, actually. So if they come now, uh, raid is over. If they don't, G freaking G. Now, they have spawners inside the base. And they're, like, obbied off. But some rooms are, like, obbied but open. And then there's, like, one with skeletons in it. Which I don't know how many skeletons are in there. But the box is obbied off but then has cobble on the side. So all we've got to do is seg into it. Which is, I just can't believe they've done that. I can't believe you've done this. All right, here we go. Let's see if this works. Please, it should work. There should be there should be no problems. I've already tested the cannon, as you can see. Come on. All right, there we go, there we go, there we go. Fire, there we go. Did that work? <laughs> I don't know. Did it? No, not exactly. Okay, so the shot didn't work. It's fine. I did pack a bit of extra TNT right into it. Yeah, we got eight shots left. But it half worked. It half stacked. So maybe it needs to double shoot, which sometimes this cannon wants to do it. But we are facing south, not north. And I believe this cannon wants to face north. <laughs> All right, let's give this a cannon another chance. Come on, redeem yourself, cannon. Do the job you're meant to do. Okay, I'm lagging out. That's a good sign. It's always a good sign. Did that work? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Can't see it from here, so I gotta go over and check. Yes, it did. Let's go. We are currently right now one wall off. There are two guys right there. I don't even have invisibility pots, but I'm almost certain they're AFK. Because if they heard a cannon going off, they wouldn't be standing still, calm, cool. And they wouldn't be looking calm, cool, and collected. They'd be running all over the place. What am I doing? This is the wrong place to put sand. Okay, I should not be canning right so it's looking like we're gonna have to double shoot which is fine as long as it works go on work in the first shot that'll be amazing it probably won't though if it didn't work in that shot it's not gonna work in this one all right firing anyway we'll definitely go check to see because it would be a waste to stack like it'd be a waste stacking sand if it did work slash back oh i'm so scared dude okay Nope. Okay, it half stacked the sand again. Okay, the two guys are in the same position. There's an adventurer and there's a hunter rank. So there's a donator as well there. So definitely probably not a console client. And if he is a console client, well, that's a very, very posh console client. <laughs> a very expensive one. So if we can get this last shot off, we are into the base and we can raid this base. We can get all the spawners that we can get. We won't be able to raid the full, full value, but we will be able to get back. Nice. Okay, let's stack a bit more of this red sand up just in case we need to fire a new, few more shots after this. I don't know. I'm just ready for it if it does fail. And then we should be good. Stack that. We know we've already done it. Let's go. Whoop. Okay. Moment of truth. Are we into the base? Let's find out. Whoop. Oh. Okay. We are. Well, hang on. 
Okay, 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 okay. This is it. This is this is an issue. So obviously this is a 230. The floor is like 231, and I was hoping we'd get in. Now I think we might be, but I'm gonna play this really safe. I'm gonna go back to the base. I'm gonna grab a load of charged TNT and put that in the boosters. This is the wrong base. <laughs> I'm gonna put that in the booster so we do extra damage, hoping that that'll break us in somewhere. Fingers crossed. All right, this should be overkill. I'm hoping if this doesn't work, oh, I'm gonna cry because it would be such a shame. But I kind of knew what I was kind of going into when I started the raid, but there was no way I was building the 250. That thing just eats TNT. It's just stupid. Right, here we go. Let's fire. Let's fire. And let's all hit that like button for good luck. <laughs> all right, here we go. Slash back, slash back, come on. Actually, no, I can't do slash back. I've got to go home, Ar. Oh, please, 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 please. Okay. 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 Those guys are still right there. <gasps> yes, buddy! <laughs> All right, so the charge TNT definitely worked. I say we would have gotten anyway, but definitely better safe than sorry. Okay, right. TNT, I'm not gonna throw you out, uh, that's for sure, uh, so I'm gonna definitely keep you, and there's some charged here, so that's, I'm definitely gonna keep you. Sand and cobwebs, eh, you're not needed. Right, those guys are definitely AFK, that's for sure. Val, Shadow, girl, are you an- okay, that is definitely- okay, that's a console clown. Val, Shrando, and that is not a console clown, so that's actually a real player, because he has $36,000, the other guy has 630. Now, do we have any normal segs? It'd be a shame to waste. No, we don't. Okay, that's fine. You think I would have been prepared for this? Okay, so inside here, we have skeletons, which if we get these, we pay off Raven and more, because there's like, I think, I'm hoping so, chunk info. There is 4.8 million worth of skeleton spawners right here. So there we go. Two million of that will be going to Raven. But would you look at that? Already we've made profit. About four dubs of TNT to fill the cannon. Okay, we can't get those. And um, we can get these. Hello, we can grab you. See, I don't understand. They have obsidian boxes, but they're not boxed off. Like, they, like why make an obsidian box if you leave a doorway just to walk through? Now, I don't think I should really be complaining because obviously like it's it's in my favor But I'm just saying like look at this. It's just like <laughs> more spawners right here. How many spawners are here? Chunking but does it do a total for me? There is currently a, a total. Okay, so there's loads of spawners here, but there's a total of 2.9 million. So uh, That alone pays off Raven with just these terrible spawners. So that's pretty nice. Oh my god My inventory is gonna be full Okay, I'm gonna eat chest and stuff right now. I'm really afraid I'm gonna get stabbed in the back because it's a possibility and I'm, I I feel a bit claustrophobic when I'm in someone else's like obsidian box because I feel like they're just gonna close that and then come in here and then I'm just trapped. There's there's no escape. <laughs> All right, let's mine these. There we go. There's eight of them, six of these. Got to go back to the base and store because I have no more room in my PV. Oh, we missed some spawners over here. Three chickens and let's grab the mushrooms and the horses. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Right, they're still AFK. I can't believe we're just broken. I can't, like, one, I can't believe the boxes are open. That's one. Like, they, those skeletons right there shouldn't have been raidable unless I lined the cannon up with them. But the fact that the walls were dry as well, like, this is insane. Now, I think we broke into a box down below as well. I think that's all the spawners. But we might be able, I have done something really cheeky, but I don't know if it would be too expensive. Or, like, I'm, well, maybe, no, we've definitely made profit. I'm just, I just don't know if we have enough TNT in the cannon. And I'm not going to fill it up with more if we can't get it because I don't think it will be worth the price. Um, but if if we can get there legitly, like without filling it again, then it might be worth it. Now, as you can see, we're kind of lined with this box right here and this box right here. And inside here, there is cows. But how much? There is 1.3 million worth of cows inside here. And I believe there's squids from what I remember. Yeah, there's squids inside here, which is worth $850,000. So if we can cannon a little bit. We might be able to get these, but the only problem is, I believe with the cannon, uh, the way it's going to work is that it's going to shoot the floor. So it's going to like basically have to break down the floor each time. So I don't think we're really going to be able to get to it. And with how much spawners are there, I think it'd be more expensive to fill the cannon with TNT than, you know, to, yeah, it'd be more expensive. It just wouldn't work. But we're going to go to the cannon and we're going to see if that is the issue because it might not be. We might have enough TNT and the charged TNT might make a bit of a difference. Who knows? And uh, we made it this far. <laughs> um, it's not really worth going anymore. I just don't think it is. Like, cause like it took four 
It took around about four inventories to fill it up with 15 shots. In four shots or five shots, we only got this far. So, like, come on. It, you just spend too much, surely. And, like, if it was, like, creepers or more skeletons, maybe I'd be like, ooh. But, but it is only it is only a squid, squid spawners and horse or and cows. So, I think we're good. Now, let's double check all these chests around here because we didn't raid them all. I'm definitely going to kill them. Don't you worry. Okay, if there was anything inside that box, uh, all the chests have been destroyed. Now, oh, have we? Oh, my God. Oh, please. Oh, is there stuff in here? If there is, like, that is, like, a lucky little mistake. Oh, it's looking empty. It's looking empty. <laughs> okay, we're gonna pearl into the box if we can. Nope, we failed. Okay, we'll wait a second. But there might be stuff at the bottom of that chest here. What's this say? Don't store. Okay, that maybe said don't store too. If that says don't store, does that mean, like, you know, there's nothing in there? Or is that what they want you to think? Hey. Okay, so we made it in. Is there anything here? Hello? No. Okay, that's a shame. Nothing inside the box that I accidentally broke into. It would have been sick. Imagine, like, this was filled up with spawners or something. Right, I see a sign up there. Now, we do have a fireball. If you don't know, you can fireball through them sometimes, and you can luckily get a cheeky chest here and there, and you can sometimes get a little bit of the stuff. So, maybe if we choose the right side, we might get something from this. But what's this chest say? It might say, like, oh, good spawners, bad spawners. Like, oh, I don't know. Oh. Oh, wise one. You tell me nothing. <laughs> Nothing there. I don't even think I destroyed the chest. Let's buy a few of these fireballs. Did we break a chest? We did. Nothing there by the looks of it. Okay. Okay, right. I've got to- Okay, I've got to check this out. Okay, so what are these? I feel like they're, they're- These ones are hiding stuff. We're gonna fireball these ones to find out. Okay. Nope. Broke that chest. Nothing. And... Nothing in the right side. Okay, all these are empty. I'm coming to kill you guys now. All right. Let's, um... You... Okay. I okay. Oh, you're not okay. You're not an actual consequence. You're just AFK. Are you? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay. All right. Let's kill you because you're worth Ooh. nothing. So you you have no interest to in me. Should be the opposite way around, but whatever. All right. I don't need this stuff. Oh, mm, he's actually. You're actually not a consequence. So you're actually somewhere there. Like if you came back to your PC right now, you'd just see me in front of you. That'd be a scary sight, wouldn't it? <laughs> Crazy Steve, that is seven inside your base. That can only mean one thing, right? <laughs> coming to bring gifts. Okay, here we go. Goodbye. <whistles> oh, you were meant to die. I forgot there was war down there. Don't worry, I got you. Let me get my first bow kill. All right, looks like you're gonna die. Oh, dab in the hair. Oh my God, he had an axe. Uh, oh, just efficiency three, and his head is worth 7,000. But I'm going to hold on to the head, because I feel like it could be worth a lot more very, very soon. So that is this raid over. Done and dusted. Nice. All right, so the cannon's blown up. Goodbye, cannon. You did you did well enough. Now, I, was, I wasn't going to lie. I didn't want to say it, but I was a little bit nervous um, this raid, because as you guys know, me and King Ricky uh, kind of share like a box. Uh, this is kind of our room. And uh, all our TNT was like over on this side, and I kind of used all our TNT on that raid, and I was kind of afraid it was going to fail, like they were going to come and find me, and you know, the raid, like I won't get to use it, and then I wouldn't get the TNT back either, but you know what, I'm happy, that was a fairly decent raid, like the amount of spawners we got, like the amount of spawners I have in my PV here, like it's absolutely insane, now we need, need to keep a few for um, Raven, I'm going to give him a few skeleton spawners, that should pay off his debt, but uh, I am not going to lie, I didn't think I'd be paying Raven back so soon, yo, my boy in my faction, the Jolly Soviet, just gave me a Bloody punch tuba. What a legend. That'll get me away from the enemies. Thank you, buddy. Also, I logged on today and um, Oh, no, hey, hey. I logged on today and uh, I've seen that someone bought me a charm and actually one of you guys did buy me a charm and sadly I won't be able to ever find out who did but to that person out there. Thank you I appreciate you and you don't need to buy me charms buy them for yourself if you want charms. Like, honestly, no, I super appreciate it. But honestly, if you're going to get charms, get them for you. Because I sometimes get charms for free. <laughs> but I appreciate it. Anyway, guys, I've came up and I want to announce a new thing to you guys. It's going to be super cheeky. Uh, it's going to be exciting. It's going to be sad. It, yeah. Okay. So as you guys know, 
I get a lot of stuff, like when anything new comes out from the store, obviously Mad Beggar, who obviously sorts Psycho out, he always sends me anything new on the store, like a new September crate, you know, a new Ender Vault, etc. And uh, I want to make things really, really interesting because I hate just getting them for free and then like that's it, you know what I mean? Obviously I own the server, it makes no sense for me to buy them, but I want to add something with you guys. So, basically... What I'm going to be doing, anytime I get something for free off Mad Beggar, like an end of vault, say, October, or just anything, say, a few charms, I am going to head flip them against you guys at random. And if I win the head flip, well, then I get to use that charm or end of vault, whatever I head flipped. If you win, you get a free charm. And I don't get to open it. So I've got to earn my right to open it. I have a 50-50 chance, essentially, to open it. Sounds fun, isn't it? It's going to be fun with mystical charms, but when end of vaults and stuff are on the line, it's going to be a hard day if I lose. <laughs> anyway, I am going to accept this. To whoever did this, I appreciate this. I'm going to go see if you give me some good luck. Let's see what we get from this. Maybe, do you know what? You showed some love to me, so whatever we get, the best thing we get from this, I'm going to give to a random guy here in spawn that item. Here we go. Right, let's roll this thing. If it's anarchist rank, maybe I'm going to regret my words, but we'll see. <laughs> Right, we got four Levitating Creepers and two Overlord Essences. Now, I don't know what's better. Four Levitating Creepers or two Overlord Essences. Now, I do kind of need the two Overlord Essences, so I'm going to keep them. But four Levitating Creepers is definitely really nice too. Right, guys? You know, they're Levitating Creepers. You can get in some cheeky little bases with these. So, we're going to give them to one of these guys. Skew, let's trade... This guy might need it. He might need some lucky raids, some cheap raids to do, and he might be able to make some profit. Let's give it to this guy. There you go. Whoa. No, that's not how this works. I don't give you levitate creepers. That is nice. I got him. I wouldn't mind. No, 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 buddy. No. I don't give good stuff, and then I get good stuff back in return. That's technically better. No. You trade. Take my creepers. Don't put the mask. No, I don't want it. <laughs> All right. If, okay, if you insist on giving it to me, I'm going to give this to someone else randomly. All right. I'm going to... Okay. All right. Let's give this to someone randomly now. <laughs> I'm sorry, but trade. Okay, I see him. Ninja. Now, I'm not going to lie. I do kind of value... I do kind of go for non-donators and lower donators as much as possible. Uh, just because I feel like they're new players to help them out on the server. Plus, also, like, when they get rich, then, you know, us players can then raid them. <laughs> Evil. Oh, 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 there you go, buddy. I enjoy. Don't give me something. Please don't give me something. Just, just, just take it. That's it. There we go. Enjoy. <laughs> he said, OMG, thank you. No problem. You should be thanking the other guy, but it's fine. <laughs> So, last episode, uh, my Juggernaut 2 book broke, which uh, Juggernaut 2 is more rare than ever right now. And don't, dude, like, fight. No, buddy. No. Take that out. No, no. I don't need it. I don't. You're already helping me out enough. I already have the sharp six axe, so it'd be a shame to have a sharp six sword as well because I I wouldn't use it if anything. I just sell it. Or p to be honest, at this rate, I probably gamble it away. So yeah, probably best I don't. So um, obviously to buy a divine enchantment book, which is where you get Juggernaut two and Disorder from, and other things, but we're mainly looking for Juggernaut 2, uh, you need 128 Impure Gems. Impure Gems are actually really easy to get, you just gotta put the time in, so hopefully next episode we'll be able to at least open up two books of those, and hopefully we get Juggernaut 2, because like, it broke, it actually broke, like, it's so gutting. Alright, so we've upgraded our Grinding Sword to a Sharp 5, Smite fight 5, Unbreaking 3, because we're level 6 now, so that means we can grind zombies, so, I'm gonna let these zombies save up, and hopefully that account over there will keep them loaded, I'm hoping. Maybe not though, it might be too far away. And uh, while they're saving up, I'm gonna go mine for Impure Gems. Hopefully next episode, I'm not gonna say we're gonna be making our god set, but we're hopefully gonna be started on it, because like technically we've done nothing. We just have the armor pieces, except the boots, but that's coming, hopefully. So I need to make a start, and soon, so I better get working. Anyway guys, thank you for watching this episode, hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully Raven comes on soon so I can give the spawners before I spend it all and I'll still be in debt. So let's hope Raven comes on soon.